morning probably a bit silly doing a video this week I've lost my voice but seeing as I can't train or anything I really want to paint my frame and I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing so this is what I painted last week um, the base coat using spray bikes paint today I'm going to do the fun bit the color so I've decided finally that I'm going to cut out some symbols, I'm going to stick them all over the frame and then I'm going to do a three colour fade and when I peel off the symbols, the stickers, it's going to leave the cream colour showing through. I've also found out about some really cool paint pens that I could use. Um, I don't have those yet, if they arrive in time I might try them out. Um, so the symbols I've decided to do are dinosaurs! Why? Well, because my daughter loves them. So the plan is I'm just going to draw some out, something like these that I drew for her when we were messing about uh, colouring in. Um, and I'm going to cut them out using a scalpel on sticky back plastic. I don't know if that's going to work. It might pull off the base coat. So uh, I think I'll try it on an, an inconspicuous bit or maybe I'll try it on the fork. I don't know if the fade will work either because I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's fun to try. So I'm gonna get going. This one? So I saw. This one? Listen to our voices. This one? Dave can't talk either. I was gonna get Dave to do the talking for the video, but he can't talk either, so. What she said is she was gonna get me to do the talking for the video. But I can't talk either. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw this. Does it look like a dinosaur? <laughs> Dave? It's, 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 his head's quite big. Head's too big, yeah? Okay. Right, so I've got my dinosaur design. Dave is really unimpressed with it. He thinks the proportions are all wrong. I don't really care. So I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to transfer it. Well, I'm just going to cut around it on this sticky back plastic. It's a super high-tech way of doing it. Right, I still can't talk as you can see, but I have finished cutting out all these decals. It was a total nightmare, but it's done. I'm going to try and go and do my fade. Do you think it'll end up looking like that? I doubt it, but we've all got to start somewhere. What Juliet said was, look, <laughs> she's cut out all her dinosaurs and stuck them on the fork and she's going to attempt a fade. She hasn't done a fade before, so it's interesting to see how it's going to go. What colour are you going to do? Purple and green? Yeah. Yeah, let's go and try it. Here goes. Oh God. <laughs> Look, the tail's coming off. You got another problem, Patricia. Sure. You might end up with a few imperfections, but I mean... To say the least, <laughs> it's going to be all imperfections. <laughs> Such a nice colour. Next colour. I'm going straight on. I'm going straight on with it wet. I don't know if you're meant to do it like this or not. I just want to do it, so I'm going to get on with it. Oh no, I'm really nervous about messing it all up now. Uh, should I help film this bit? Time to take them off and see what it looks like. I've just hair dried these because it makes it easier to remove them. So here goes. Ooh. Happy? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's done. I don't know if I like it, actually. I kind of wish um, the base coat was pink. I don't know if I like it, but anyway, we'll carry on. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, look first. Does it matter if I get the shed purple? No, not at all. Okay. Right, so uh, 
I don't know if I like the di dinosaurs. Mm, so, seeing as it's a hassle and I don't know if I like the dinosaurs, I'm just going to do a fade. Well, I'm going to try and do a fade. I've got a pro tip for you. Take your watch off first. Oh, and wear gloves. So next, because uh, I'm doing a three color fade, I'm going to put the middle color on next. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I'm going to do it like that. It's perfect conditions to paint in, right? Cold, no. windy, and slightly wet. Not being too lucky. So, I still can't talk, but yes, uh, I kind of am. There's the odd bit where I went a bit too high and too thick, but I think it's not bad for a first attempt. I'm just trying to remain patient because the more you do it, the more you speed up, and then you're just like, Rah! Oh my god, seriously bright. Yeah, it's going to be quite heat. It's like pastel, pastel. <laughs> right, so um, I'm not really happy with this fade. It's really, really windy. Also, I've never done one before, so I'm just going to go back over with the green and try and tidy it up. I've put cling film around all the pink areas that I want to stay pink, so I'm just going to try it. I mean, it might make it worse, but change of plan. I actually quite like having a line. I got one accidentally, um, and I'm now I've decided to incorporate that into my design, so I've taped it off in a line. I'm just going to finish it off. Stop asking for food. Sorry. Uh, right, um, I think I've finished the frame. The fork, as I said, I don't know if I like it. Um, I was hoping I could get a hold of some paint pens and I might outline the dinosaurs, but um, I live in the countryside, it's quite hard to get hold of stuff like that. So I haven't quite decided. Um, I am going to lacquer this once it's dried. Um, so I'll see what it looks like then and decide what to do. Everyone admire how clean works out. People are like, oh, you put your bike on the sofa, Dave. Yeah, it's like, don't worry, this is what our house looks like. This is, this is my wife. Uh, this is your wife? And why is that my, my responsibility? Because it's your bike that you're painting. Oh, but all the other stuff? It's, it's your hairdryer, <laughs> your mask, your thing, your fork, your keys, your phone, your cup of tea, your watch. My tribe bottle, my bubble bath. Your tribe bottle, your bubble bath, your oh, mama. My, my, my uh, nail varnish remover. Uh, okay. Right, final reveal. I hope I like it, because I didn't like the fork. <laughs> God, my voice. <coughs> Happy chair. Do you like it? Yeah. And here it is. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, I'm not necessarily saying I would do it exactly the same again. I didn't really need to do the cream base coat. Um, all over the entire frame because I've painted over it anyway and I think a different accent colour would have been nice on the fork but yeah jobs are good and I think it's really good paint it's so easy to use if you've got any questions about the process let me know in the comments below obviously I'm not like a pro but I've just done it so I kind of know how it works um, and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also let me know what you think of the frame and the dinosaurs be kind <laughs> bye